Hey there folks, and since the first race of Formula E is soon to be upon us, here is my prediction for the Diria E Prix for both races, because, well, it's going to be hard to do one between the first and the second one for a preview for the second, given how busy this weekend is in the world of motorsport and sim racing as well. But let's have a bit of a talk about the Diria E Prix, the Formula E season opener. And no matter what we think about Saudi Arabia hosting a Formula E race, much like it hosting a Formula 1 race, uh, the night element is going to be an extra challenge for this season. It's Formula E's first night race, and with the track being widened out in some of the more pinchier points, making some of the courses a little bit easier for drivers, it's going to be something that adds a couple of extra challenges for the competitors. But if we have a look at the practice, it was topped by six tenths of a second for Nick De Vries, with Andre Lotterer in second and Lucas De Grassi in third. Quite interesting, the Venturi of Edo Botara was fourth, with Roland fifth and Lynn sixth in the Mahindra. This is... Uh, well, I've got to say this. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the season actually gets underway. Um, I don't believe that the 8th place in practice is representative of Tachita or Da Costa. And especially considering that uh, Jev... Where is he? Uh, Jev was down at 15th in the practice session. I think if we are to look out for people, like I don't think that um, putting your bets on Mercedes would be a bad idea. They were pretty good last season and they entered on a high with a win for Stoffel Van Dorn. So... Being able to take this momentum into the new season, yeah, I think that makes sense. At the same time, I wouldn't necessarily rule out Porsche. With the lineup they've got now of Lotterer and Verline, that is going to be a lineup that is looking to kick some series butt. And at the same time, Audi, like they're going to be coming out the bat swinging. I'd be interested to see how the new Jaguar lineup does. Well, Evans is staying with Jaguar, but with Sam Bird having come across, that's going to be pretty cool. And how our reigning champions come in to Cheetah. Having picked up the doubles with Jev, and then picked up last year with Da Costa, I wouldn't be surprised if they started a competition out strongly here. But then, of course, if we think back to last season, the wins went the way of Sam Bird and Alex Sims. And for the Tachita pair, the best that they could manage was an 8th place in the 2nd race for Jev and a 10th place in the 2nd race for Da Costa. So it could easily be that we're going to see some kind of, well, some kind of battle all the way to the end. And we don't even know what it's going to be just yet. Let me know your thoughts and predictions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.